Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to, you know, take a screenshot of the failed test case in a cucumber. And uh, once we are taking a screenshot, how we can attach those screenshot in a report. So that part we are going to learn. So there are few prerequisites we have as you already aware how to take a screenshot in Selenium. So we can use and take a screenshot interface and based on that, we can take a screenshot. So what we can do, we'll create one of the package over here. So the prerequisite, we have to do the three things here. First of all, we have to create a separate class for an uh, for, for an screenshot. This is first thing we have. Second thing, uh, second thing, we have to create the one of the properties file and there we have to set the properties. And then third thing we have, uh, third thing is nothing but we have to create, we have to apply those things. We have to check those things, whether your test case passed or failed in a one of the hook. So these three things is required. So let me create the first thing. So what I'm doing, first of all, I'm just creating a package over here and I'm just giving the package name, which is named as an utils package. So as you already aware about the util package, whenever we have to create the, you know, uh, different, different thing that time utils package come to the picture. So here I'm just creating a one of the, you know, class, which is named as a screenshot utils package. I'm going to create screenshot utils package. This is a, you know, uh, this is a, sorry, not a package. I'm class. I'm going to create. And once this is in one of the method, I'm going to create over here, public static, then uh, like byte stream. I'm going to use byte array. I'm just using over here. Once this is done, I'm just simply using capture, capture screenshot and here I'm just passing the whatever web, web driver instance we have that I'm simply passing over here. So this is uh, what I'm passing. Once this is done, then what is the next thing we have? I am just returning what I'm returning, whatever screenshot I'm just taking up over here that I'm returning. So screenshot is an interface. We can't create an object directly and indirectly. So this is driver instance. I'm passing dot get a screenshot. So what exactly I'm just using guys dot uh, take a screenshot and then here get a screenshot as this method I'm just using and then output type dot byte. This is the you know method I'm just using. This is what guys, this is what method I'm just using over here. Once I'm done with this method declaration, then second thing, what is the second thing I have to do? I have to create the one of the uh, properties file. So you can see in a in a resources folder, one more package I'm going to create which is named as a config package. And when this is done, one more uh, file I'm going to create, which is named as a cucumber, cucumber dot properties. So this is a properties file I'm just creating over here. Once this is done, I am just setting the pro properties file over here like this cucumber, sorry, uh, cucumber dot plugin. This is what uh, file I'm just, this is just, I'm just defining the properties file over here. And then whatever our file path we have, which we define in a test runner first. So here I have to define. This is an, you know, we are taking a, you know, we are generating the report. This path I'm just setting up where, you know, in this one. I'm done with this thing. Let me move to the R hooks. This is the third thing we have here. I'm just defining the hooks. So before it means before test case, it is going to execute. And then I'm defining over here after method, like after hook, I'm just defining like after your each and every method, your test case is going to execute. So what exactly we have to define here public void. And here I'm just defining tear down this method. I have to define once this is done scenario. This is what the scenario I have to define. Once I'm done with this thing, then what is the next thing we have? We have to check whether our scenario is passed or failed. So how we have to check if scenario dot uh, okay is scenario so this is not a class we have to use an object over here scenario dot is fail if your test case is failed then what exactly we have to do we have a byte array we have screenshot interface uh, screenshot object basically I'm just creating over here screenshot is equal to whatever screenshot utils class we have which we create so screen short utils that class dot method name I'm going to create capture screenshot this method name I'm going to create and then I am going to pass the value over here semicolon. Once I'm done with this thing, then what is the next thing we have? 
we have to use over here scenario dot attach method i am just using scenario dot attach method i am just using and then i am going to pass this screenshot this is this variable i am just passing where we are taking a screenshot comma whatever file name we have that file name i am just giving as of now i am just giving image hyphen png format i am just giving up over here once this is done then what is the next thing we have i am just defining over here fail screenshot what i am defining fail screenshot i am defining fail screenshot this is what exactly i am defining and once this is done at the letter of stage i am just defining driver dot close method i have to define and once we are done with this thing and now you can see how many test cases are passed over here three test cases are passed and one test case is failed so this is what prerequisite we have so now if i'm going to run my test on a class then for whatever test case is failing we are taking a screenshot automatically here so let me run my test on a class over here and if i'm going to run over here your one of the report is going to generate and for this fail test case what exactly happen this fail test case screenshot should be automatically attached so let's let's see what exactly happen so a uh, second case is passed third test case is passed and fourth test case is also passed and if i'm opening the cucumber.report.html file over here and if i'm opening the chrome browser over here you can see like one test case is failed three test case is passed and if i'm just navigating you can see this is failed a test case screenshot we have so this is how basically we can take a screenshot for the failed test case only uh, in a cucumber and this is the thing basically i want to tell you guys thanks thanks for watching this video